Hello gorgeous! So I've been missing MIA again for a couple of weeks and I'm sorry. I went to Disney World and um, I got sick all over again in Disney World. I think I partied just way too hard with Mickey. I don't know. Um, I actually think I didn't ever get better. I just kind of got a little better and then it just came back with a vengeance. So yeah, I am on medicine again. Uh, because I have a sinus infection again, but I, I do sound better today, so that's a good thing. But I wanted to do a get ready with me video for you guys because I haven't done one in a while and my husband and I are going out on a date tonight and I was like, why not do a get ready with me summer date night edition? So um, I decided to do this look and if you keep watching, I'm going to show you how I got this look. So keep watching. So I'm starting off with Benefit's Professional Primer and then I'm going to move right on to foundation and today I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Magic Nude Liquid Powder. It's a super lightweight coverage which is perfect for a summer evening. I'm just using my trusty beauty blender here to get a smooth finish on the foundation and then I'm moving right into eyes. Today I'm going to be using my NYX Natural Eyeshadow Palette which you guys probably remember from my Ulta Mini Beauty Haul and I'm just using the nude color from Lash Line to Eyebrow. Next I'm going in with the light tan color and I'm just going to build a little bit of a neutral shade on my eyelids. Here I'm going to go in with a little bit of the matte white color and I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes as well as my brow bone. Next I'm taking my Revlon highlighting palette in Bronze Glow and I'm actually going to use this for an eyeshadow today and I'm using the gold which is in the very center of the palette and I'm just going to build it a little bit in my crease. I'm just dragging the gold now along my lower lash line. And now I'm taking the lightest color in the palette and I'm using it to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Make sure to blend it out girls. And next I'm going to take the darkest brown from my naturals palette and I'm just going to work it on the outside crease to build just a little bit of a dark corner. Don't forget to curl your lashes, key. And then I'm using my favorite mascara. You guys already know what it is, L'Oreal Voluminous. Today I'm doing two coats though. I'm just gonna show you the first one and I'm getting them really coated and lengthening them and it's gonna look as if I'm wearing false lashes. I'm just using a matte brown shadow to fill in my brows with a slanted brush today. Brow powders can sometimes tend to get a little bit messy on the outside corners, so I like to get a very sharp edge and clean it up with just a little bit of concealer on the outside of the brows, and then I like to take my beauty blender and blend it out. And I always like to cement my brows in place with a clear brow gel. I just like the e.l.f. brand dollar clear brow gel. So for today's highlighting, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NC15. If you guys want to see my full highlighting and contouring routine, just click the video in the corner. So I am actually using different products from my highlighting and contouring routine video. Today's contouring, I'm actually using Flower Cosmetics Stick Foundation Skin Cognito and it's in color SF8. I'm using my Maybelline Gel Liner in black and I'm just going to waterline my upper lash line. Guys, this is easily one of my new favorite products. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil and it is amazing. I have it in medium and I love to waterline the inside rims of my eyes as well as outline the outside of my lips. It makes them just appear fuller. This product is awesome. For bronzer today, I'm gonna to be using my Flower Glow Baby Glow, and it is the Blush Bronzer Duo in Beachy Keen. The bronzer I'm just using in my normal spots around contouring locations, and then I'm gonna be using the blush right along my cheekbones. I'm just gonna use my Cover FX Pressed Powder and Translucent to set my under eyes and blend it out. I'm just using a slanted eyeshadow brush with the darkest color for my natural NYX palette. Um, I just want to create a very soft and neutral cat eye. Using my holy grail lip liner, 
Stripped down by Mac. Today I'm actually using the NYX Matte Lipstick in Nude. And this is a great color, but it's kind of drying and you guys are going to be able to see that on my lips. So I'm going to actually top it with the NYX Lipstick in Cirque. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer under my bottom lip because I wanna create a shadow which gives the illusion of fuller lips because girlfriend wants big lips. I'm just gonna top off my lips with a little bit of Whitening Lightning's Lip Gloss in Crystal. It's a beautiful color and it just reflects light. So just use it right in the center of your lips. Going back with my shimmer brick and I'm gonna create a little bit of a highlight on my nose, make it look a little bit slimmer. And I'm gonna do a little bit on my cheekbones and Cupid's bow. I'm just using a pressed CC powder in a pink tone to set my concealer under my eyes. Girls, you can't forget to spritz your face. It is summer and you wanna set it with a setting spray so that your makeup doesn't budge all night long. Now on to the hair. Clip and extension time. I'm just adding a little bit of volume to the crown of my head because I wanna create a good solid poof for my hairstyle. I'm just pulling all of my hair over to one side so that I can get ready to do my braid. As you can see, I'm starting to do my fishtail braid here, and if you guys need a tutorial on how to do a fishtail, you can watch my video up in the corner. My favorite way to secure a braid is with a clear plastic band, um, I, and then I like to wrap my hair around it and secure it with a bobby pin. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that for you guys today, but if you wanna see me do that in a different video, let me know. For all your flyaways, I like to just tease a little bit at the roots, get it to stay in place, and just take it back and secure it in place in the back of your head, kinda hide those wispies away. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video. Um, any information that you need on what products I use or even what I'm wearing right here, I will put on my website. So if you don't go to my website, make sure you visit it because everything will be posted there. It's www.angelalanter.com. And don't forget to follow me on social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever make sure you're following me and click like if you like, like this video and you want to see more get ready with me videos and make sure you subscribe to me because I'm so close to 25,000 subs and when I hit 25,000 I have a really exciting giveaway for you guys that I um, want to keep for myself but I'm not going to because I love you guys and I want to give it to one of my gorgeous girls so thanks so much for watching today and if you have any requests for any tutorials reviews anything like that make sure to leave it for me in the comment section below and um, I love you guys so much thanks for watching au revoir